In this video, we will show you how to prepare the MySeq reagent cartridge prior to sequencing. The reagent cartridge is contained in the MySeq reagent box 1 of 2. This box is stored between minus 15 and minus 25 degrees Celsius. To prepare the reagent cartridge, first remove it from freezer storage. Unbox the cartridge. The box also contains the HT1 buffer, which we will not use in this video. You can place the HT1 buffer on ice or return it to the freezer while preparing the reagent cartridge. To thaw the cartridge, prepare a water bath containing enough room temperature deionized water to submerge the base of the reagent cartridge. Place the cartridge in the water bath. Do not allow the water to exceed the maximum waterline printed on the reagent cartridge. Allow the reagent cartridge to thaw in the water bath for around 60 to 90 minutes until it has thawed completely. Remove the cartridge from the water bath. Gently tap it on the bench to dislodge water from the base of the cartridge. Dry the base of the cartridge. Invert the cartridge 10 times to mix the thawed reagents. Then inspect that all positions are thawed. Inspect the reagents in positions 1, 2 and 4 to make sure that they are fully mixed and free of precipitates. Gently tap the cartridge on the bench to reduce air bubbles in the reagents. The MySeq zipper tubes go to the bottom of each reservoir to aspirate the reagents. So it is important that the reservoirs are free of air bubbles. For best results, Proceed directly to loading the sample and setting up the run. Alternatively, set the reagent cartridge aside at 2 degrees to 8 degrees Celsius 